Well hello YouTube, it's me again, I'm back on the island from being home with my family for Christmas, um, it is New Year's Eve and yet again I'm out riding the bike, the journey went back went okay. Um, obviously I had the electrical issues initially on the return on the way there but on the way back the bike performed faultlessly even though it was I'm gonna swear now so shut your ears it was bastard cold uh, my hands were it was just mental but I have learned that I can actually put my hands in on the engine and warm them back up again. Um, it, that's a bit complicated for the throttle hand, my right hand, um, but I can actually grab hold of the exhaust pipe for a, a few seconds um, and then um, throttle back up and then do it again and that's how I was surviving uh, but I went through some serious freezing fog, it was, it was cold. Uh, but yeah, I'm back on the island, um, it's Saturday and for I'm on one last ride of 2016 uh, the bikes up to 2759 miles um, so yeah it all is good all is good in the land of Craig or reef is life uh, the bike again is absolutely filthy but it should just wipe um, wash off really easy because I've started using Scott Euler FS365 which is like um, mineral oil in water and what it does is you spray that onto the bike the water evaporates and leaves a very very thin film of oil on the bike uh, which you just keep topping up so in theory now I wouldn't actually need to wash the bike even though it's filthy what I should be able to do is just spray over the top because I've already FS365 it it's already got its protective layer so now I could just keep topping it up um, but I may well wash the bike later again uh, I've also for a Christmas present I got a Dremel uh, with the idea that I'm hoping it's going to help me keep the damn chrome clean polished on this bike but I need to investigate that a little bit better I mean it's it's got the 36 I mean it's got the Dremel so obviously it's got all the cutting blades but equally I've got the extension kit which should in I hope give me lots of polishing tools and all that sort of thing so but yeah, one last ride, riding out to Ramsey on the coast road via Laxey and then I will zap across the mountain. So I will um, talk to you a bit more later on. So I'm coming down into Laxey now. I've actually started using the rear pillion foot pegs a lot more on my bike. It gives it more of a sporty feel. Um, obviously it only works if you're cruising in one particular gear. If you need to change gear then you need to quickly take your um, feet off and uh, lob them on the forward controls. Um, equally it makes using the back brake uh, you have to react quickly on that but I'm not a massive user of the back brake anyway so that's not a uh, big problem I do still use the forwards but it helps me vary my legs so on a long journey um, I find forwards a little bit um, uncomfortable after a while because your legs are stretched out and then you know you're not there's no activity you know so um, it's quite good to be able to move them around so 
So that's just going through Laxey. Down to my right, you've got a mini wheel and a little stream which goes down to the harbour. Um, yeah, so we're coming up to 2017. 2017, I'm going to put even more effort into my channel. There'll be more on-bike footage, there'll be more walking, um, vlogging, vlogging, and there will be more drone footage as well. Um, so, and I'm going to try, you know, I'm going to put some effort in having ride-bys and stuff on the, the Harley. So I've got some um, different tripods to actually... Uh, put some cameras in on the side of the road and ride past them and get different views and be a little bit more creative so 2016 I want to thank all my followers I'm up to 181 it's been a bit static for the last couple of weeks because I haven't really been releasing much but I want to thank all my followers um, 2016 was very much a start for me I've had my YouTube channel for many 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 years but I'd only really ever posted um, videos of my uh, fish tanks. So 2016, around May time is when it really started. So I guess I'm not doing bad for someone that's only been YouTubing really actively for about seven months. Um, but 2017 will be hopefully my big year when uh, my follower base starts to increase and my, my videos get better, more interesting. Uh, and hopefully I can get some footage more some more um, reviews bike reviews test rides I'd like to get a lot more of those in and um, any tours I might do off the island so um, yeah thank you everyone um, and I will say it again at the end of the video but um, I want to wish all my followers anyone watching this video or any of my previous videos I just want to say um, have an absolutely fantastic 2017 I hope it's awesome for you all um, and you get to meet some of your dreams so um, thank you all Mountain Road for the last time 2016 or at the mountain section anyway There's actually quite a few bikes out Seen a few It's nice to see Gooseneck View out over Ramsey and the point of air Quite windy up here. In fact, it's very windy up here.
there's Ramsey. So I'm going to um, say cheerio here as I go around Windy Corner because it's looking a lot like rain and I want to get home quick. So Happy New Year everybody, absolutely everybody. I hope you uh, find my channel improve over 2017 and that um, Uh, do me the honour of subscribing and um, watching future videos so take care all all the best from Craig or me see ya